check out these colorful bowls. This is just what I need. I've been to the Dollar Tree and picked up a number of these bowls. These are like a pretty heavy duty snack bowl and I got these in blue and a number of these, they call these punch bowls. They're kind of a crystal pattern and I got those in clear. I'm gonna start with one of our smaller bowls. You're gonna turn it upside down and there's no need to take your price stickers off because we're going to be removing this bottom. You're gonna take that heat tool and after it has warmed up, you're going to put it over on the yellow and just press down. You do not need to apply excess, excess pressure. That's especially important when we get over to our punch bowls that are a little thinner plastic because you will crack them. And there you go. There's a couple spots that didn't, but there. You see our hole. And we're gonna wanna do that to a couple more of these, but that's basically what you do. So now we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to do that on one of the punch bowls. We're gonna use the same process on the punch bowl, but we're going to want to attach one of these to the top or the bottom of the punch bowl. So I don't wanna make my hole quite so big. So I'm going to set this right on top and I'm going to make my hole inside one of these. I'm just going to use this to trace and put my heat tool right inside here and make my circle right here. What I want is a hole that is large enough for my hand to go through. We're gonna put lights inside here and I want to be able to reach up in there to put the lights up inside. So I don't want an itty bitty hole where I can't access it. But again, I need one, this hole to be smaller so that I can use adhesive to connect this blue one to the bottom of the punch bowl. So I'm just going to use this for a guide to the size. For our next step, I'm going to use two of the big balls that I've melted the holes in, two of the smaller blue bowls that I've melted the holes in, and one of the blue bowls that I didn't melt any hole in at all. I'm going to start with one of the blue bowls that has the hole in it and one of the clear ones. And I'm gonna take some Gorilla Clear Grip. You can use E6000, uh, any kind of adhesive that you are comfortable using. Um, this will take a little bit to be really secure. So you're gonna to wanna to put this on and uh, get your bowls all secure and then let it sit. And these bowls come in pink and purple too. So if those colors are something you like better, and then we're gonna take our clear bowl and put that right on top of there. Now this next one is kind of difficult because this has a very thin um, flat edge on it, okay? But where it's a little wider, that's where we're gonna put our glue. Even if you just put some little dots on there, so you're just gonna do the same thing. You're going to put that adhesive right along there. If you're more comfortable using like a toothpick or some, or a paintbrush to put your adhesive on, you can do that. So I've made it all the way around. And this is the difficult part is to make sure that you get this exactly right. And then we're gonna finish off. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if we add another layer um, as long as you're not, you know, really rough with it. We're gonna finish this off with one more blue bowl right up here. Again, a nice generous amount just on these wide parts of this bowl. You don't need to worry about the thick, although the strings will connect it too and we'll go ahead and put our top on. Connected perfectly. 
And then I'm just going to let that sit right there. I mean, if you wanted, you could put a little uh, book on top or something to make sure, but just leaving it for a little while and it, it will um, be ready to go to our last step. So it's about dusk and I have all three of my lights out on the table. But you see how you can see the battery packs down at the base. So I'm going to disguise those just a little bit more. And you could add more lights inside yours if you want. I really do like how inside this one, they really glisten through the double um, row of uh, bowls. So that might be something you want to do. But I am going to disguise the bottom of those. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm zooming in here to show you that all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ivy, some artificial ivy like this, and I'm going to just cut these apart and I'm just going to lay them around our base. And by um, leaving a little bit of wire on them, I can bend them around. Now you could, um, you could hot glue these on, um, but I want to be able to lift this up and take my um, battery lights out or turn them off. Although these are all on a timer, so they will go on and off. But see how you can uh, disguise that a little bit. And you could even lift this up and tuck these underneath the bowl if you're afraid that they're going to blow away while you're outdoors. See, just like that. and that will help hide that. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of color. You can see in addition to the ivy, I've decided to add a few white poppies. I like at night to add white flowers. They really show up well and with the black centers. And that'll just um, make these stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna do this to the bottom of each one of these and night is falling here. It'll be a perfect time for me to video these so you can see how they really are going to look. And here we are, the sun has gone down and you can see how much light these will bring to a tabletop. Uh, you could even use one of these on each table um, as a centerpiece for an evening event. Um, and how pretty the flowers look at the base of them. Isn't that lovely? So um, I hope that you like this project and you head out to Dollar Tree and grab some of those bowls and create some of these yourself this summer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.